Mike J. Lane side and the stars are out at the PBA Jimmy Allen Challenge 11-12 Player of the Year, Sean Rash. And you have uh, made some pretty good friends over time, uh, inside and outside of bowling, and you have made quite a good friend with Jimmy Allen. How did you meet him? Yeah, uh, this has been just a unique situation uh, more than anything. It actually started with Ronnie Russell. Uh, big thanks to him and Chuck Wicks, who unfortunately is not here today. But uh, without those two, this relationship and this event doesn't happen. Um, I noticed back in the fall of 21, we were going to be bowling in Milwaukee for the World Series of Bowling. Uh, I noticed that Jimmy was going to be playing downtown uh, that Saturday night, the 12th, I believe it was. And I was like, what a hell of an opportunity to have, you know, an unbelievable singer and a person that loves the bowl uh, at maybe our TV show or just come out and hang out. And uh, it took a little bit of time. I sent him some messages and didn't get through and made the phone call to Ronnie. Ronnie called Chuck. Chuck called Jimmy. And, and now here we are. <laughs> well, if anything, rash over time, persistence is, is a, a part of your game. And uh, you get a chance to bowl with Jimmy, and he came out to the venue, uh, and you got a chance to talk equipment with him and some other elements. And now uh, Jimmy has become uh, bowling obs obsessed. Yeah. Uh, what were you able to share with him uh, in Milwaukee to get him on the road to competitive bowling? You know, he's got so many people at his disposal for bowling. You know, he bowls league with Bob Learn back home in Nashville. He talks to Ronnie and EJ and myself all the time, and AJ. Uh, we've just become really good friends I and mean, we talk about a lot of things besides bowling, but bowling has become something he does pretty regularly and he's very passionate about it. And uh, of course, all of us professionals are as well. And like I said, this is just a great opportunity for us to bring something different to our sport that hasn't had it. We've had a lot of great things through the years with Chris Paul's charity events and multiple other celebrities and, and sporting events and, and athletes. But uh, this will be a little different. A uh, little music, which everybody loves music, and uh, looking forward to a great time on the lanes with him and, and all the other players and, and celebrities that will be here today. We're all looking forward to it here at Bolero Matthews in North Carolina. Sean, uh, four special ladies in your life. Bring us up to date on uh, Sarah and, and your daughters. Yeah, no, uh, my wife's supposed to be here, actually. Uh, unfortunately, all three of our kids are sick. Uh, we've dealt with a lot of... Uh, health uh, situations this year for the Rash family. Uh, really sad that they're not here or my wife, of course, but uh, my wife always makes the right decision by taking care of our kids. Uh, I actually made the phone call yesterday. I, I didn't even want to come. Like I wanted to go home uh, to help take care of my three sick kids and, my, and help my wife any chance I could have. We've got plenty of great bowlers here and celebrities. Somebody could have filled in. Uh, thankfully, uh, because my wife is so smart and, and so uh, just hands on that she was like able to take them in, get some medicine, uh, and the kids are on the up and up. But uh, you know, I'll be on the phone all day, of course. But uh, just you know, where would I be without my wife Sarah? You've always been a stellar family man, and uh, one of the greats of this game, shoe in Hall of Famer, major championship winner, and uh, rededicating yourself. I'm assuming toward 2023. What do we have in store uh, to look for uh, next year? Uh, you know, that's a great question. Um, I've battled the injuries through the years, right? Uh, the latest one, the back injury, is pretty significant. We'll see uh, how things go. I might have to bowl an event, take a week off. Who knows? Um, you know, continuing to work out, strengthen muscles that I'm not used to working on. Uh, I was talking to T.O. about it today, just, you know, his desire, dedication, and uh, determination to be a great athlete, a great person, and, and in great health. But our sport is demanding. There's uh, things that are happening to many players on our tour. Uh, I'd never wish anybody hurt, you know, to be hurt. Uh, so my advice to the, the up and comers is make sure you take care of yourself. You never know what might happen. You know, you're on your own when you're on the PBA tour, but tonight you got a partner. How much yeah. fun is that? No, it's always fun to be able to shoot up with someone, uh, whether it's Jimmy or Chris or, you know, I had CJ Anderson one year and I've bowled with so many great people. Uh, I think of the PBA league team as well with the, with the ballers and now the pounders uh, or the pounders and, uh, being able to rely on someone else to, to pull through is pretty cool. So Jimmy's been practicing. He bowled league last night, like I said. So uh, excited to see how sharp he is. I know he's getting ready to hit the, the tour with Kerry Underwood coming up. They start next week with the Denim and Ryan Stones tour. Uh, so check it out. They'll be in 60 or 70 different countries over the next six months. But uh, I think he's been practicing quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to him throwing some strikes. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Thanks. Rash, come on. Let's have some fun.